Mary Lou MacDonald, please. Gurmagad, Taoiseach, the programme for government acknowledges that significant exchequer resources invested in capital spending in the education uh, sector. And yet issues surrounding these publicly procured projects uh, have become a series of errors. Following the collapse of Carillion and Salmon, there remains a myriad of outstanding issues relating to school bill projects, including uh, in my own constituency. And now we learn, uh, as was discussed earlier, that there are significant structural and safety concerns related to 40 schools built by Western Building Systems over the last 10 years. Uh, three schools have already faced closure and there's no clear plan coming from the department on alternative accommodation. Can I ask you, Taoiseach, uh, if you agree that this latest day battle reflects a significant and unprecedented failure in government procurement and regulatory frameworks? And can you clarify for me and for us what specific actions the Minister for Education and Skills has taken or will take to ensure appropriate alternative accommodation provided for the children, the pupils and the teachers affected by this? I think I answered um, these questions uh, to the best um, of my ability when Deputy Clary, Clary raised this earlier. I would say when we talked about Carillion and Salmon before, uh, the deputy was very critical of PPPs and zeroed in as that is the reason why we, we, we had a problem uh, with, with buildings. These weren't PPPs, these were design build contracts, so uh, it indicates that problems can, can, can arise in, um, uh, um, in, in the structure of buildings th through all sorts of models. Uh, things have changed since then, uh, since uh, building regulations were improved in 2014-2015. Uh, and more recently, in the last couple of years, uh, the Department of Education now has a clerk of works on site every day. Uh, but that in itself doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't problems. So uh, we're going to need to check um, on the schools built after 2014-2015 to get a real sense of the extent of this problem.